Salut, ça va? Uh, this is the audio file for week 12, semaine 12. Semaine 12, week 12. Uh, today we will learn uh, the possessive adjectives in French. Uh, and here they are. A little song for you, okay? Mon ton son, ma ta sa, mes te se, notre votre leur, nos voleurs. Mon ton son, ma ta sa, mes te se, notre votre leur, nos voleurs. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. Oh, I miss those days. Long, long time ago, when I was a kid, uh, about 20 years ago, right? Uh, I used to, uh, I had this teacher, a friend teacher uh, in elementary school, and he came up with this funny song to make us remember our possessive adjectives. And we, will, we would laugh uh, each time he would sing that song. But now I believe that he achieved his goal because more than 20 years later, here I am on, uh, on YouTube singing it. And, well, okay, I'm going to become serious again. Okay, uh, mon. Mon is my. Okay, mon is my. Use it when the owner is je, I, and the object owned is masculine and singular. Like, mon manteau. Mon manteau, my coat. Ma is my. Use it when the owner is je, I, and the object on is feminine and singular. Ma dent, my tooth. Oh, I, I didn't know that a tooth could be um, uh, feminine, but well, only in French. Okay. Uh, mais. Mais is my. Use it when the subject is I, je. Okay, is je, I. And the object owned is masculine or feminine and plural. Okay, and plural. Mes manteaux, my coat, mes dents, my teeth. All right, it doesn't matter if the object is feminine or masculine, it has to be plural and owned by je, I. Okay, ton, ton is your. Use it when the owner is tu, you. And the object owned is masculine and singular. Ton manteau. Your coat. Okay. Ta. Ta is your. Use it when the owner is tu, you, and the object owned is feminine and singular. Ta dent. Your tooth. Te. Te is your again. Use it when the owner is tu, you and the object on is masculine or feminine and plural. Tes manteaux, your coats, tes dents, your teeth. So you can use it with both masculine and feminine nouns. It only has to be plural and owned by tu. Okay. Son. Son is his or her. Be careful here. Okay. Because in English it works differently. Son is his or her. Use it when the owner is il or elle, he or she, and the object owned is masculine and singular. Son manteau. In English, I know when you say his coat, immediately you think that and you know that the one owning the coat has a masculine gender, right? His coat. If you say her coat, it will be uh, the owner will be uh, a female will have a female gender, right? In French, it doesn't work that way. Son manteau is his coat or her coat. It can use it can be used for both uh, males and females. Okay. Uh, sa sa is also his and her. Use it when the owner is il or elle he or she, and the object owned is feminine and singular, sa dent, his tooth or her tooth, okay? But in, f in English, if I say her tooth, it's the owner is immediately, I assume that the, the owner is immediately a woman. If I say his tooth, I assume that he's a, a man. But in French, no, you can't tell. Son, sa are used for both male and female as owners, okay? 
Okay, se. Se is his or her again. Use it when the owner is il or el, he or she, and the object owned is masculine or feminine and plural. Okay. Se monto. Se don. But here the owner has sole ownership of the items. Okay. He's the only owner of the items. Okay. Several items. Okay. Notre. Notre is our. Use it when the owner is nous, we, and the object owned is singular. It doesn't matter if it is masculine or feminine, notre is neutral, like our car, notre voiture, notre voiture, our car. Okay, so we will be the owner and will own a single item, notre voiture. No. No is our also, but use it when the owner is nous, we, again, and the object owned is plural this time, like our cars, no voiture, our cars, no voiture, votre, votre is your, but use it when the owner is vous, you as a group, and the object owned is singular, votre voiture, your car. Okay, so you as a group own only one car, your car. Okay, vous. Vous is also your, use it when the owner is vous as a group, you as a group, and the object owned is plural. Vos voitures, your cars, vos voitures. Uh, leur. Leur is their. Use it when the owner is il or elle. In the plural form with ss at the end il l v in english and the object owned is singular okay leur voiture their car okay only one object owned here and leur with s at the end their also when the owner is il l in the plural form they in english and the object owned is plural like the cars okay I stress this S to make sure that there's an S at the end. The cars, le voiture. Okay. Now, uh, let's see if we have enough time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, about ma, ta, and sa. Okay. I just said that they are used for uh, nouns, nouns that have a female gender, like ma don. Okay. Une don is has a female gender in French. Une don, ma don. Uh, ma table, une table, so ma table, ta table, sa, sa table, uh, okay, but uh, be careful here when using those ma, ta, sa, okay, uh, if the noun uh, having a female gender begins with a vowel or a silent H, I say that again, if the noun that has a female gender begins with a vowel or a silent H like uh, habitation, okay, habitation, une habitation, okay, a place where you live, une habitation. Uh, in this case, ma, ta, sa will change into mon, ton, son. Let's say, let's take the word school, école in French, école. École begins with the vowel A, okay, école. Normally, I should say ma école because my school, ma école, because école has a feminine gender, ma école. But because école starts with a, a you know, in French they have this uh, 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 phonetic, I, I think in most languages actually, uh, two vowels can be uh, stuck together. So one will change. In this case, ma will become mon to make it flow, you know, better, to get a nice sound. So it would be mon école, ton école, son école. It's as if son, ton, mon is used for a uh, noun in the masculine form. But no, école is indeed feminine. Just to make sure, okay? All right. Uh, I guess I'm, uh, yeah, nine minutes. I have to leave. Uh, see you and uh, bye-bye. I hope you enjoy this lesson. I'll see you another time. Bye.